relationship expert and counselor Norm Quantz of Image Incorporated offers another compelling topic in the mental health field. Visit normquants.com for more information. On the issue of uh, conflict and how people deal with conflict, uh, sometimes it's just uh, the desire of people is just to be happy, happy every day, every hour, and uh, be positive, positive thinking, um, enjoy life, and that that's the solution for dealing with life. So any incident, um, hey, if there's tension in the house, uh, just lighten it up and make it happy. Or if there's some uh, conflict going on in some of the relationships at work, uh, let's just be positive about it. And so we can even get some people in to talk about how to uh, be funny and happy and positive and uh, get the positive juices flowing. You've heard those before, right? I believe that if you really are putting uh, conflict aside, in other words, you're avoiding conflict, you're not um, uh, dealing with conflict directly, I believe that that can often be an escape mechanism and you can um, reduce the opportunity for growth when you put conflict aside. So, why? Well, because conflict has a growing opportunity available to it. Every conflict does. And that doesn't mean that you go out and search for conflict and you just make conflict happen just so you can grow more. Of course not. But conflict is present because there is not a, an alignment of thought or belief or understanding that's the same. And there's 6.5 billion different beliefs and different perspectives in the way to view something that's happening in our globe right today. So to assume that we're going to have always the same is, I believe, counteractive to the reality that human beings are individual, we have our own will, we have our own understanding, perspective. And now you're able to then take those perspectives, if you're able to work through conflict, look at it, and work through it, you can take that conflict and help gain another perspective, another vantage point to see it from, a way of walking in somebody else's shoes for a while and seeing their perspective, and gaining an understanding that's more comprehensive than yours alone could be. But if you just resort to going and, and just making something light and happy at the moment, you will never drill down to the place that you can learn from the conflict and understand the situation. So the pattern of lightening things all the time actually can get you into deeper trouble so that when the conflict is facing you head on, like a deer in the headlights, it is so overwhelming, life and death issues are then present and it's very hard to grapple with it at that particular time when you're being forced to deal with the conflict head on. You can't escape it. It's beyond making it happy. It's no, no uh, fun thing anymore. And either a divorce is imminent or a, um, an abuse is present. Um, risk of health and life and limb is, is at stake. Those are the things that result when you delay facing conflict, understanding what's going on, looking at different perspectives, making some evaluation and determining what you're going to do about it, rather than just sidelining it, coping with it just by pacifying it with happiness or positive thoughts or positive uh, ideas. Um, there is a reason there's a conflict present. Find out what that reason is. Get to understand it well enough and then make decisions for action to change the situation that will then eventually bring substantive joy and pleasure and happiness in your life as you pursue uh, better solutions than you've presently been doing.
Image Incorporated is an interactive multimedia academy for global education. Visit normquants.com for more information.